All right, I got interrupted on the last one, so um, I'm going to go ahead and place this component in our spine. So if I control tab back here, I've got that component loaded in here already. And if I drag it out, it's going to want to go one. Oh, this moves so slowly with two, back, three, up to the top, and over to here. Let's see if we got that in right. And then the next one is going to basically follow the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five. And if I come up to modify to stop that, I've got one piece of it. Now I can array these. So if I pick that, I go to modify, array that in a circle, and then pick the other one, modify, array that in a circle, and now we have our sort of end of our rig. I've got a little bit of geometry on here, but as we discussed before, if I pan this over and open up my Family Types dialog box, bring it over here so we can see it a little bit better, a lot of values <clears throat> and our parameters, we can now change things. So for example, I can change that circle top radius to 50, right, and apply, and the whole rig will sort of update and if I come in and change the column height, that's an easy one to change. So I can change that to 90 and apply, right? And it'll plunk that thing down. I can change the bottom point to 20 and apply, right? And it'll move that bottom point down and stretch that whole, that whole piece right, to accommodate it. So now we have sort of a parametric rig.